So now that my Corvette is finally back from the shop, we can get back into some install videos and making some more content with this car, finally. So today, pretty much, we're going to be installing some jacking pucks on my 2023 C8 Corvette. Now, jacking pucks are these little things right here. Uh, you can get them in a couple different colors from a lot of companies like Paragon Performance, Amazon. They make them a whole bunch of different variations for this car. But basically, these cars are not the easiest thing to jack up you know, uh, using a conventional jack in your garage or anything. They're uh, very easy to mess up the sides of the car and up underneath. So basically these jacking pucks give you a sure area to jack up the car on and they're super easy to install. So we're gonna be installing those right now. Now this kit did come with an Allen key, but uh, we're not gonna be using that cause I'm lazy. So I just got a socket, an Allen socket. It's gonna make things a lot faster. But basically we're gonna start off by just kind of putting one screw and one screw through the front of each of these. And then I'm going to start the threads on here and get it about halfway down the screws just to start off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So basically you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are just tightened about this far. This will just decrease the amount of time that it takes to actually tighten them once they're up underneath the car and it's a little bit more difficult to get to the screws. All right, now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna be doing this on the ground and basically I'll show you all the hole that you're looking for. You're looking for this hole right here on all four corners. So it's gonna be like a little oval. It's not a perfect circle. It's more of like an oval, a pretty long oval, honestly. And then in the rear, I'll show you the rear one as well. So the rear one is gonna be this one right here. Don't get it mistaken for any of these other ones. Don't even try to get up in there or like that. You're gonna be looking for that one right there. I uh, gotta find that hole again. Where is she? Oh, there she is, okay. So now we're gonna kinda stick it up in there, keep pressure on the screws, and then we're gonna turn it 90 degrees. So roughly like that, I'd say. And then you can pretty much just tighten up the screws and that's it. So now not only are we going to be decreasing the possibility of damaging anything up under here with our jack, but it also makes it super easy just to quickly look up under here and see where we're supposed to be jacking the car up at. Now I did forget to mention that if you would like, you can apply thread locker to these threads. Uh, these are meant to stay on the car forever. Like you never have to take these off. You don't have to take them off every time that you're going to work on the car, put them back on. You can just leave them on the vehicle. It'll make tech's life at the dealership a lot easier because they don't have to install the little ones at the dealership and it'll make your life easier if you work on your car at home. So just leave them on there, apply a little bit of thread locker if you want. Uh, if not, honestly, it'll probably still be fine. I'm not going to personally do it, but yep. Anyways, that's it guys.